proceed about one mile to Burkhal Lane. North. 
but <laughs> Bakersfield. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So that's like 10 hours of state that you could live in. <laughs> yeah, California's big. So, I was, uh, I'm like Mr. Mystery way back then. Back, but I didn't have context. I was just like, okay, well, we were online. All right, I guess I understand. Like, I was, my last girlfriend just left, so she, my heart was broken, so I didn't want to get my heart broken again. But I was a guy. I didn't want your heart. It's a business relationship. We should have put them on the roof, they would have been washed in the rain. Uh, and uh, acid rain? Yeah. Acid rain. <laughs> Friend anniversary. But then, like, when we started texting, like, you were immediately sexual, like, right away. And, but now when we text, you're all, like, never sexual. Well, right. Just unless it's an occasional joke. And so, just that's why I noticed, like, uh, so I I was trying to open you up too because you're you're all big Christian closed off. You didn't know that back then, though. It's subconscious, I guess. Huh? Well, because all you knew was my political videos. I, I was know. I was like using you as like one of those male friends I never had, where you're always making sex jokes and stuff. Uh, Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Like I just think there were just things you were interested in. Like it wasn't like in a perverse sort of. Hey, we think about vaginas. I just like to screw vaginas. Like it wasn't like that kind of thing. It was just like, just Great. things you would ask that you can't normally ask. Sort of thing. Or it's like, oh, what other other people think about it? Crazy. So like, it was never felt bad that way. But then it's just when I when I scrolled back all the way through those texts and then just saw the evolution. Are you sure it wasn't you about like hypothetical, your hypothetical questions? I uh, know because I did. I don't usually do hypotheticals with people I don't know. Like I probably never did a hypothetical with you until you lived with me. When you came and visit, you did. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Because I only remember doing them when we lived together, but not in your old house. I missed this guy's place because I know what it looks like, but I didn't see it. I guess that's in the video. What? What do you? What am I? This is I'm supposed to get an introspective feel, right? Yeah. yeah I, I don't know that it's working right now. Like, maybe you have to... Not be... if we talk over it, you know? All maybe... we talk about is introspective, though. Yeah, I'm trying to decide, because I've never done it with another person. And so usually, like, when I'm doing my road trips, if I put it on, it'll immediately drive me there, because if I'm not talking. But I don't know if talking affects it or if it'll just take longer. Longer? When is the last time you floated? Whenever I did it that one other time, and I didn't feel good because I oh the time you my belly and diet or whatever yeah I was I was out of balance and it, it made my back I don't dry and my back hurt that. I think because I was would have been more out of balance than you and I felt great during both of them I bite this bag of grapes it's in my body if I eat a bag of grapes every day my body's like okay we're eating a bag of grapes every day. I reach a balance. I see. Homeostasis. Yeah. So if you're consistent enough, you'll be homeostasis for you, you know? Whether it's a healthy diet that's going to make you last longer or not, yeah. you at least reach some kind of balance. Whereas if you fast, and then all of a sudden you freaking, you uh, eat nothing but salty french fries, your body's going to be overwhelmed with sodium. You know, when I did a 30 or 40 or day, frying oil. 30 day fast, I was at school, and I went out, and I saw this delicious vanilla cake. Yeah. And it was right after I finished my fast, I think a day or, or two after. And I went and had like two big slices. Hmm. And it didn't really mess with me. Yeah. How long was your fast again? It's like 30 days at least. Oh. That's happened after two of my fasts where food that I couldn't turn down became available. Hmm. So around here is my friend's house that I'm filming for a documentary on health. We'll see how he's doing. I don't think he's been fighting cancer for a long time. So in a way, he's a survivor doing uh, raw food and juice and fasting. He's surviving, but they already had part of his colon removed. So That is like one of my worst nightmares in life. And I got, okay, this is the right guy to meet. 
Oh, no, I wish you had told me that, because I, I just felt like the physical empathy. Oh. For the survivor. I, but even, 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 even if it's like Steve that Jobs, that. when I'm, I'm making a point like Steve Jobs, some people will blame, oh, he was fruitarian, that's why he died. Well, he kind of survived, like, I forget how long, 10, 15 years, pancreatic cancer. Because he no, did, yeah, some, did yeah. something right to extend his life a little bit. Pancreatic. And then people are talking about him eating sushi, which is definitely not vegan. So who knows? I don't know what he's eating day to day. We need somebody. I, I think it's what's eating him day to day at this what's point. What's eating him? Yeah. What's eating Gilbert Grape? 